Welcome to Aptitude Destination. Today we will solve this question. So please pause the video and read the question completely. A man started from home at 14.30 hours. So let's say this is the home. He starts at 14.30 hours. He drove to village, arriving at the village when the clock indicated 15.15 hours. So there is two different clocks. The home clock indicates 14.30. He drives and the village clock indicates 15.15. After staying for 25 minutes. So he stays there for 25 minutes. He drove back by a different route of length 1.25 times the first route. So he's driving back. So let's say the first route was D. So this would be 1.25D at a rate twice as fast reaching home at 16 hours. So let's say the first one he drove at S speed. So the second route he must have drove at 2S speed because he's driving twice as fast and he reaches home at 16 hours. So what is the time frame between 14.30 to 16? It will be 1 hour and 30 minutes. But we should note that he has taken 25 minutes break here. So what is the time that he traveled? 1 hour 30 minutes minus 25 minutes which will give us 1 hour 5 minutes which when converted to minutes will give us 65 minutes in total. So he has traveled for a total of 65 minutes. Now we know that time is equal to distance by speed and if different distances are traveled in different speeds the total time will be calculated as say d1 is traveled by s1 and d2 is traveled with a speed of s2 and so on. The total time will be calculated as d1 by s1 plus d2 by s2 plus d3 by s3 and so on. So we'll have to add up the individual times taken to travel different distances. Now we are going to apply this logic in the given sum. So now we know that the distance d is traveled with a speed of s and the distance 1.25d is traveled with a speed of 2s. And we also know that the total time taken is 65 minutes. Let's just equate all of these. 65 equals d by s plus 1.25 d divided by 2 s. Now let's take d by s common from this equation which will be d by s 1 plus 1.25 divided by 2. Taking LCM as 2 this will give us d by s into 2 plus 1.25 divided by 2 which will give us d by s into 3.25 divided by 2. Let's bring d by s in one side. So this becomes d by s is equal to 65 into 2 divided by 3.25. Let's clear this decimal out by multiplying 100 and dividing 100. So this becomes 65 into 2 into 100 divided by 325. Cancelling out in 65 tables, 65 into 5 will give us 325. 5 into 20 is 100. So this will give us 40. So d by s is equal to 40. What is d by s distance by speed? which is time taken right so to travel the first distance a speed of s was required right we have just found out the actual time that was taken for that man to reach the village from the home initially so he has taken 40 minutes now adding 40 minutes to 1430 will give us 1510 but the village clock shows 1515 which means there is an extra five minutes that's being shown therefore the village clock is five minutes faster so option d is the right answer Thank you for watching. If you have any queries or doubts regarding aptitude, you can always reach out to me in my email, aptitude destination, or you can also put down in the comment section.